Hey, welcome to Get It Done with Gabby. We are sitting on my bathroom floor right now because the lighting in here is way better than in my bedroom. Today's video is all about partially making over the bedroom. It has been a long journey to get to this bedroom makeover and we're not gonna get it all done. As I said, there's just, things are expensive. Like when you go into designing a space, the cost can be astronomical. It's totally crazy. I, I am just starting to dabble in designing rooms and figuring out my taste and what I like. And holy moly, this queen's got expensive taste. <laughs> so I've been working really hard to find a middle ground between the usual like low cost stuff that I would normally just get just to get the job done versus the uh, my dream, what I would ideally have if I didn't have any sort of budget. We're trying to find something in the middle that will make me happy and is nice and will do the job. So <laughs> the thing that I spent the longest time on was finding curtains. There are three windows in the bedroom and the door to the bathroom is just like an open, an open walkthrough, so we want to have some sort of a blocker on that too. So basically four sets of curtains is what it's come down to. Uh, other considerations for the window treatments, they have to be blackout curtains because when we have the baby, I need to be able to make it completely dark in here so she can sleep and do her naps throughout the day. Oh my God, did I not tell you guys? <laughs> It's a girl, we're having a girl. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I never announced that on YouTube. I think I did an Instagram post and a Facebook post, but that was it. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, we're having a little girl. Anyway, when she takes her naps, I need it to be completely dark in here, so she is undisturbed. I have a very specific sleeping strategy that I use for my babies, and it involves the room being like 90% dark. So, with that said, I have to find ways to black out the windows. Obviously not forever. Regular curtains are fine for when we move her out of our bedroom into her own room, but for now, it needs to be able to be blacked out. So <laughs> the curtain search was a lot. And at the end of the day, the best that I came up with were room darkening curtains, which means that the blackout curtains that I currently own, the ones you guys hate, the like black curtains that just like fully just block the light, have to stay. They have to stay underneath our new curtains just so that it's like dark, but then the new curtains will go over it and you won't see them and you won't know they're there, but they have to stay there for now. So you'll kind of see me working around that as we go through today and getting the curtains up, but it's just, it's how it has to be right now and functionality is far more important at this point than it looking fashionable. So let's just go into the bedroom and I'll show you what I got. Like I said, I spent a lot of time looking at curtains and this is what the choice ended up being. Holy heck, this is what I was talking about, about the bedroom lighting. Can I block that? Does that help at all? Blocking out all the natural light? Oh, that actually did help a decent amount. Yikes. Okay, so <laughs> making my camera adjust to white balance just means there can't be any natural light coming in because then it looks normal. All right, so these are them. I will insert a clip now of me hanging this because I did this yesterday uh, while the TV was on, so I just like went ahead and just filmed myself hanging this up.
Okay, so I have been dabbling. Also, my outfit's crazy. Don't mind me, I'm sick. My little baby queen brought home some sort of cold from baby gym and I, I always get taken down with her sicknesses. So this is where we're at. I'm in a crazy outfit, just like chilling today. So just let it wash over you. I look insane. <laughs> anyway, these are the curtains I chose. I got them off Amazon and I will link them in the description if you end up liking these and want to check them out. I searched all over the place. I looked at Walmart, Target, um, Wayfair. Wayfair was where I spent a lot of time, uh, but at the end of the day, Amazon was the place for these velvet curtains. <laughs> How did I land on velvet curtains? I was watching Angela Braniff do a room makeover for her daughters, and she got these like blue velvet curtains, and I was like, those are beautiful. I was like, what if I did velvet curtains in the bedroom? So that's, <laughs> I was influenced into velvet curtains, man, and I am so glad that I was. I absolutely love these. Oh, another thing. I mentioned this in my bathroom makeover video, but when you are shopping online or in any capacity, like especially Amazon, check the customer reviews, especially the customer images, like the photos they take of the actual product, because the product photos for the like the sales image or whatever is always gonna be like top notch, the best studio photography. They're gonna look amazing, like regardless. But if you check the customer review pictures, that is the real story. That's how they're actually going to come and what you're actually going to get. And so while I was looking at curtains, that was what was most important to me. I would find like the style, the type of curtain, and then I would go straight to the customer reviews and look at the pictures. So with this brand in particular, the level of uh, blackoutness is going to vary based on the color you get. Obviously I chose like a very like light, oatmeal-y, taupe color. I think, I think this is like taupe. I think that's the actual name of it. I'll look it up. But anyway, it's a light color, so they don't block out all the light. Let me show you. I have one, I test hung one, just on the curtain shades that my brother left in this room. Let me show you. So as you can see, a very good chunk of natural light is coming through that window. So that's kind of what you're working with with this shade. But when I was looking at the customer reviews, the darker colors, like the dark green and stuff, block the light so much better, obviously, because it's a darker color. So depending on what you choose and what your preference is, darker might be better if you want more room darkening. Let me open these so I can show you an up close of the texture. When I made over my bedroom at my dad's house, you guys were telling me to hang the curtains like close to the ceiling, like two inches off the ceiling. Um, Cause that's like what's in right now, like tall, long, curtains. So I got the 96 inch curtains. These are some long guys. And after I hung this one, I'm totally on board. Like I think they're beautiful. So as you can kind of see on these, I need to either put them in the dryer or iron them in some capacity. Um, I'm gonna look into that and see. I don't want to like damage them or anything, but they obviously come and they're pretty wrinkly. So they do need a little bit of assistance, but for now I'm just gonna worry about like getting the curtain rods installed. So here they are. They're so soft and they're like, they're heavy. Like they're heavy, nice curtains. Like, like they're just, they have, they have substance. They don't feel cheap, but I guess I have no point of reference. I'm sure they're like thinner than really expensive curtains are. I don't know. Anyway, another factor that I was considering when p picking out these curtains were these little, uh, is it called a rod pocket? I forget what these are called. It has the main pocket. This is the rod pocket, like the one you can just stick the whole rod into. But I really wanted these tabs because of the way it will hang. I don't know if I can show you this. Like that. I like that. <laughs> so that was another factor in my choice of these was to make sure they had these little tabs. Tabs. Maybe they're tabs. Why can't I think of the words for anything? Anyway, that is the focus on it. 
the beautiful velvety texture of these and then this is the back so it's just the inside is not velvet and it is just one piece of fabric yeah it's just a single piece of fabric so it's not like lined with any room darkening anything which is why I think the color it plays such an important role in its ability to black out a room Anywho, I have been talking and talking and talking. Let's hang this curtain because I got three more left. Man, I hate hang curtain rods. Oh, that's another thing. Okay, I have just like a little bit more talking to do. Actually, you know what? We'll talk about curtain rods after. We need a break. We just need to make some progress. So here's the window we're going to be working on. This guy. As you can see, it has a blackout curtain inside of it right now. My brother left little, those little freaking, those little cheap little curtain hanging things. He left those on the windows. So that's what we've just been hanging the blackout curtains on. It doesn't look great. It is what it is, but it is doing the job. So we're just going to hang these curtains over it and you'll never know it's there. Also, I don't know if you can see the holes that are already up there. Uh, that was my brother's doing. He had a VR system in here. So those holes are not mine, but we are going to work around them and I will fill them later just not right now i'm ignoring them <laughs> Okay, they're up. Here they are. I'm so excited. They're so glorious. Ah! Oh my goodness, I love them so much. Also, I had a question about how much of the bottom is supposed to be touching the floor. Cause like, I know they're supposed to be like dusting on the floor. Is that too much or is that the right amount? It's like, I think like this much is like on the ground. Should I like hem them up a little bit or is it good like that? I really don't know anything about like curtain vibes or how much of it's supposed to touch the floor. Anyway, let me know. All right, I'm super stoked. That's such a vibe. Ah, <laughs> I freaking love it. Oh my goodness. You could tell such a color difference between like just the color of the curtains and then what they look like when the sun's coming through them. They're like have a way more warmer vibe when the sun's coming through. I'm so excited. It is such a pain in the butt hanging curtain rods. Eh. Okay, we're halfway there, man. Two more to go. Let's get her done. Okay, I had to show you guys this really quick. Do you see how much of like a, like, I guess a grandeur difference hanging from the ceiling versus like right over the window makes? Like, look at how much of a difference. Those are the same size windows, but this one looks so puny compared to this like majestic situation over here. Holy crap, that's crazy. Okay, let's take a moment to talk about the curtain rods that I picked out. If you guys watched my last video, the bathroom makeover video, you saw that I looked at curtain rods at Walmart and Target. Walmart didn't have a single gold curtain rod, which was what I was aiming for. And then Target, their gold was like the really light colored gold. And I wanted more, I think it's called warm gold. 
is what I was shooting for. And so I ended up finding these on Amazon. They were the exact same style of one that I found at Target. Uh, and they're just a different color, like a darker gold. I will show you what I'm talking about here in a second. And these were, I think they were about 30 bucks a piece. Oh, I don't think I told you how much the curtains were. So each set of two was $55. So <laughs> not the cheapest curtains, because like my, my blackout curtains, like just the black panels, I get those at Walmart and they come in individual packs, like single curtains, and they're like 11, 12 bucks. So like if you got two of them, it'd be like 22, $24. So the curtains that I chose were a little more than twice as much as my blackout curtains, but like the vibe is there. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just a more mature, nice vibe. And also I don't think I mentioned in this video, <laughs> We are in a rental, so we're renting this home. So there's a bit of limitations to what I can do. Technically, we are allowed to paint the walls. However, I don't think we're gonna be here any longer than another year. And my vision for the bedroom is like very dark, dark and moody. And so I would paint all the walls black which if you can imagine the pain in the butt it would be to switch that back to this light gray color. Like I, I just do not have that. Especially like if we're trying to move next year, I'm gonna have like a friggin', I'm gonna have a six month old. I'm not out here trying to repaint the walls back to this color just so that I can live in my dark moody bedroom for a year. Like I'm okay, I can wait. <laughs> It's just, it's not something that I'm interested in doing right now. I, I may look into painting, or not painting, sorry, some of that stick on wallpaper and or maybe painting something behind the bed. I'm not totally sure yet. I have to like look at some inspo pictures and see what I can come up with. But I will insert here um, my bedroom inspo. I didn't do that for the bathroom and I really should have, but I will insert my like Pinterest board pictures here so you can see like kind of what I'm feeling or what I'm shooting towards for this room. All right, so welcome to my bedroom Pinterest board. I have had this Pinterest board for quite some time. So the older stuff is a little, not exactly what I'm looking for, but here is the inspo for this bedroom. So. Obviously the stuff at the top is more recent, so I'll, uh, I'm gonna scroll to the bottom first and we're gonna work up. So none of these are relevant. Okay, so what I am thinking starts here. Okay, so do you kinda see what I'm shooting for? Like, we're talking dark. We're talking moody. We're talking fantasy. We're talking maybe some more plants in here. I don't know, like, okay. This kind of looks like they're living in a greenhouse. That's glorious. Like, look at that. Oh my goodness. It's so cool. And those, that gold bedding. Holy moly. Okay. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I can click into each of these kind of, and so you can kind of see the vibe, but like just dark, dark, moody. I want the whole thing to just be like a little cozy, whatever, whatever. But the difference you can see between all of these is like some lean way more fantasy and like this one's pretty like, I don't know what you want to call this. It's more modern. Um, it's got, I don't know. I don't want to call it basic because it's a beautiful bedroom. But like then you click into this one and you're like, oh, fantasy room. Cool. That's really cool. Obviously I don't have windows like that, which is kind of the whole vibe of the space but so I don't know exactly what I want the the color theme to be because you could do something I could do something like this where the walls aren't black they're like a totally different color but like I said I'm not painting the bedroom so that's kind of why I chose the curtains I did because I don't know what way I want to lean and I feel like the curtains that I chose could go in any of these spaces like no matter what color I did they would pull the best of whatever I decide because they're very neutral. So I don't know. Here's just 
just some of the vibes, some of the pictures that I liked, what I was drawing from when I was making some of the choices. But okay, up towards the top here. So then I, <laughs> I discovered these um, rock walls, I guess you could say. And Matt and I fell in love with these stone walls. Uh, from what we looked into, they're trying to say that these are wallpaper. It's hard to believe, but I mean, it is a photograph, so I guess technically it could be. I don't know, but like, they're just so cool. I mean, look at that. How I'm obsessed. That can't be wallpaper. That's crazy. Anyway, I got in this whole kick about these stone walls and <laughs> it kind of worked into something I already wanted to do, which were these uh, pieces of artwork, these plaster artworks, right? Um, so <laughs> after we get done with the curtain hanging situation, I'm going to jump into what I thought was going to be a really cool idea and did not work out at all. So all of these cool little like plaster artworks, I thought I could do plaster artwork as our, the, like our headboard, kind of like this, but just like a headboard situation and put that behind us, like put the plaster art behind us as the headboard as kind of like a makeshift stone wall sort of thing. Um, fun in theory did not work out. <laughs> but anyway, main point, you guys get the vibe here, dark moody just this is what i want this is my dream something along these lines <laughs> anyway back to these curtain rods these are i got the 48 inches to 86 inch ones because the the general length that i was shooting for was about 55 inches across so that was right in the middle of this measurement and uh it is a warm gold finish so i will link these uh, along with the curtains in the description if you're interested but these are so nice you always get a little bit hesitant when you're ordering something online but again check the customer reviews look at the actual pictures it will save you it will save you more times than not okay so here is the color let me unwrap this so you can actually see what i'm talking about this color it's not light gold it's like dark gold <laughs> i don't know if that makes any sense here's what it looks like up against the curtains god the lighting in here is actually tragic um eh, let's see if i can use natural light okay here's slightly more realistic coloring so it's like dark gold with this shade of taupe beige it's very neutral like it came it's not too warm it's not too cool it's like very very neutral i love i love 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 this color for the curtains and here are the little end knobs so really simple just like a little i don't know three quarter inch to an inch little knobby at the end really simple really modern i love this okay let's install this next curtain rod uh Three down, one to go.
last one done. I'm quitting for the day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, so here's where our little uh, plaster project started. I went and <laughs> got myself this uh, masonite board, or I think it might be called a uke board, technically, from Home Depot. It's like 14 bucks. I was like, sweet budget. Um, as you can see, little Miss Parker here is helping me do a gesso uh, coating on it so the plaster will stick better. I think this is where we got off on the wrong foot. I read one, didn't even read, I skimmed through an article about how to do this plaster art stuff. So it mentioned throwing down um, a layer of gesso before starting so the plaster sticks better. Got myself a bag of plaster for 22 bucks and you know I just, they said add as much or as little water as you need for your desired consistency. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Like it just, that is not correct. It may be somewhere in their instructions they mentioned that like the temperature of the water is really important and the exact measurement of water is actually really important because I mixed up that plaster to the exact consistency I wanted and within 10 seconds, I should you not, of taking out the stirring stick, it was a rock it turned into cement. Plaster is tricky. Um, and you're only supposed to mix up what you can work with in like six to 10 minutes. So like I was out there just mixing away, do, 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 water, plaster, water, plaster, whatever, whatever. All this while it's having chemical reaction and turning into cement. So like, <sighs> it just... I wasted, I basically tore up a $20 bill, and so I rage drove back to Home Depot, bought another bag, and came home and told Matt, I was like, I cannot do this project right now. Like, I need to go to bed. I haven't calmed down even a little bit since that happened. And like, so we woke up the next morning and we were going to get to it. And then Matt started bringing up all of the concerns about this project because the Masonite board is floppy like it's just a really thin piece of board and I was reading things for like doing plaster art on canvas which has a solid back you know to like keep structure and he said that if we picked up the board after I got all the plaster on there he's he said it would start to like crack and fall off which is very likely so we scrapped the whole project we are going to use the new bag of plaster and make some smaller like smaller boards that have actual like frames on them to keep them structured and straight. We're going to do some experiments um, and just see what we can come up with for like artwork and stuff. But uh, no, 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 no. My dream, my dreams were not happening, not happening this time. All right. Welcome to the next phase of my frustration and disappointment with this project just not working. We are gonna paint a black arch over on the wall behind the bed. I know I said I wasn't gonna paint on the walls here because I'm gonna have to paint it back, but I don't care anymore. I am done. I want some sort of headboard looking thing. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna paint a stupid headboard on there. <laughs> Uh, I need to adjust my attitude. I need to be more excited about this because it's an exciting project. It will be cool to look at. It'll be interesting and different. And at the end of the day, it's just not what I want. So I think that's the thing that's frustrating me the most is that I can't have what I want. So uh, anyway. I'm gonna stop being a negative Nancy and just do this project real quick and throw some black paint on the wall and see if it makes me feel any better.
Okay, what do you guys think of this as the vibe? Like, a black comforter. I was not thinking that I would do a black comforter, but I don't know if that like goes better with the room since it's not entirely black. I'm not sure. Let me know what color I should do because obviously our, this is a queen size, um, queen size duvet. Matt and I each have our own queen size duvets. We do not share top blankets but I was thinking I wanted to do a color but now like looking at the curtains and the black arch should I do a color I don't know like I don't know what to do I'm really tempted to get that green one that I got for my the like the room makeover I did at my dad's house I really want to get that green one again oh, oh and then also okay so my other overarching goal is to have complete sheet sets and duvet covers to swap out like completely for a laundry load. So for my birthday, Matt got me another set of bamboo sheets and this was the color that I picked. So this is another color we're working with. Obviously this one's very neutral. It's just very plain, very regular. 
but this is what I would switch out for. So there'd be a little pop of color in the sheets. So should I stick with black, black and white as the comforter colors? Or should I do something different? Tell me what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm second guessing everything in the bedroom, other than the curtains. I'm very pleased with the curtains. That's my favorite thing. It's my absolute favorite thing. I'm so pleased with those. But everything else, like, oh, and um, keep in mind, the end goal is not to keep these nightstands or the dresser that goes with them. My mom graciously gave them to us when we had to uh, swap out all of our stuff. So they're just kind of temporary free furniture that does the job, you know what I'm saying? So I'm still sourcing what I want those to actually be. I haven't even begun to look into it because it's just a whole other expense that I can't deal with right now. But main question, what color should the duvet cover be? <laughs> Help me figure that out. 